what is happening traders today we will be doing some ta on some of the market leaders for the nft space guys theta engine and chilies so guys before we jump on the ta just go ahead and hit that like go for the subscribe let's just jump on the charts right off guys theta is in a strong <laughs> trending move as this is completely there's there's nothing to be well right off the bat there is nothing to be bearish about i was thinking that these things are going to take a hit with bitcoin dumping below the 55k zones which which it looks to me like it's going to recover pretty soon but it looks it ha like had it had to happen i mean most of the altcoins would have been dumping to the uh, to the downside in a very 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 extremely accelerated manner but it did not happen guys theta holding extremely fine and testing some key moving averages on higher time frames not the higher the medium the mid term higher time frames going to be the 12 hours the 10 hours and it is still under trending motion guys this is simply flagging out right here um, as far as you're maintaining as far as you're holding the 6.275 levels i think it's simply going to be trending towards the upside and uh, any closure if you see any 12 hour closure below this moving average which is going to be aligning with the support as well then you can talk about some down towards trending pressure on theta and most likely then you'll be heading towards these liquid zones at 4.2 and <laughs> 3 dot red guys now these things are quite far fetched because it just theta yet again just one of those coins which simply fucked off to the moon without waiting for anybody to jump into the trade and guys no matter how whatever kind of lines do i draw in this one it is a simple uptrend it's a it's a simple bullish trend guys so every dip is going to be longed most likely and uh, you could be getting into a sideways to consolidation phase just like this something like we had throughout the month of january so i think the march the month of march could uh, march could also be one of the sideways trending motion for theta could be could be reaccumulating on these price points but guys you do want to hold the 6.25 areas right you do hold this one you will be constantly trending towards the upside there's not much stopping but guys look at this this candle right here the shooting star which is stopping you from the well from the current uptrend which is going to be uh, which is going to be telling of the fact that there's going to be little halt in the trend no need to fomo right off so guys we do have a very well defined range here um, you close um, any 12 hour candle above this price point at 7.68 or 7.75 to be honest with you then you can trend to the upside then you can constantly head to the upside and this would be considered as good reaccumulation or a flag and out pattern you can you can talk about simple bull flag targets if we break above this pro uh, price point all the way towards 11.4 dollar theta now guys Theta is coming from absolute wreckage. It's coming from a three cent price point after the COVID dump, guys. It's done. It's done. It's precisely done more than expectation, guys. As the NFT space started picking up, this one went eighteen hundred, eighteen thousand percent move to the upside. Insane, insane, and still wanting to trend to the upside. The slope of the twelve hour simple moving average on the two. <laughs> the slope of the 200 simple moving average on 12 hour is extremely bullish and the rsi is still sits still above this 60 guys i should do this right here i think um, this is the, the ranging behavior on rsi is quite important as when you stay above the 60 marker on rsi you are in a trending motion when you lose the 60 marker then that means you're getting into consolidation to sideways phase something like this right here as you can see um, on this price point right here you were trending you were constantly trending above the 21 simple moving average with the rsi side trending above the 60 marker that is when you had that exponential crazy move to the upside starting at 62 cents stopping at 2.4 cents guys what a what a beautiful looking trade this one for um, a good leg to the upside after consolidating for a month or so now you, you had a second phase of consolidation and then you are simply trending towards the upside as your rsi is above the 60 marker i'll just save this one as um, as this is quite important to maintain a band between 60 and 40 guys anything between 60 and 40 is in a non-tradable zone all right when you see the price action getting into 60 uh, getting below 60 and staying above 40 that is going to be a complete chop and it's better to stay away from the market and when you see rsi finally trending above the 60 market that is when you get back into the trend well little ta advice for you folks i hope you like it guys hit that like if you do like the content in this channel and do share these videos with all of the people who are trying to get into the space just just that everybody has to be level-headed if you're trading these markets if you're investors i I think there are better channels in the space that could help you out and uh, with, with certainly some good amount of information in terms of investing now this is a trader focused channel if you are willing to trade this bull trend with discipline with utmost precision guys go ahead and hit that subscribe share this channel as well all right
in the extreme small time frames the 4 hour time frame right here is certainly diverging between these points now you can argue that this is certainly not a divergence as this is quite far off this point right here i mean you had you were nowhere close to the candle closure basis on these points right here um and um, well not much to be derived here not no, no bearish divergence going on this is simple chop to a reaccumulation phase right here and guys if you start closing and you break below this price point right here then you can talk about some bearish moves or or some some kind of consolidation towards the 200 simple on the 4 hour time frame yet again a pretty important moving average support for any bullish trend guys as you can see every single time it's coming to the 200 simple on the 4 hour time frame it gets picked up right and the trend mode is back on again so guys not much to talk about on theta although uh you are just just know that you are currently under a trending motion it's it's, it's simply about 60 on rsi it's going to trend to the upside no need to be bearish no need to be selling your hodl positions as well guys this is this is simple bullish trend to the upside guys our next candidate for the day is going to be engine coin <laughs> yet another strong bull trend guys this, this is pretty much vertical this is way more vertical than theta and this one also doing a 10000% uh, ever since the covid dump certainly trending towards the upside with extreme extreme bullish momentum getting bought back on every single dip wherever wherever uh, investors and traders are looking at value it's just simply guys just check this out simple flagging out grind breakout uh, flagging out grind and then breakout now this one could also be argued like that flag grind breakout so it's just it's a, it's a simple trend towards the upside so it's, it's pretty simple to long this one after consolidations and guys this is a pretty neat looking trend to be honest with you let's check out the rsi this one is also trending above um, i did say the chart man i did not hit the reload anyways so you are certainly trending above the 60 on the rsi here as well and as far as, far as you're maintaining this signature on the rsi and your volatility is still under expansion this will also be trending now what are going to be your key important levels on engine coin let's jump on the 4 hour time frame to figure out because uh, this this trend this pretty much is being guided by uh, the 4 hour 21 simple guys this well just look at this <laughs> just just look at this price action it's just how beautifully the 21 simple on 4 hour time frame is guiding this entire trend bouncing the price action every single time bullishly engulfing the previous time we did uh, come close to it but guys uh, you recently did well you come across you came across some kind of sell pressure is only because of bitcoin dumping below the 60k zones uh, that's why these sell candles are a little more aggressive than these previous ones although as far as you're maintaining the 21 simple on the 4 hour time frame your, your your trend is certainly not under jeopardy and guys this one starting from uh, 55 cents still under trending motion test of the 3 dollar levels guys ever since we started trending about the 21 simple on the 4 hour time frame this is a single leg up move of 500% guys <laughs> crazy crazy piece of price action right here uh, do we see any divergence between these points i mean uh, well Mm, you did try to break above this price point right here but you fail you came back into this point now you're going to guys just watch out for this trend line as well this looks to me like a pretty significant one if you constantly reject anything below this diagonal trend resistance um then you can be talking about some swing some potential swing failures on um uh, engine coin now guys divergence 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 not <laughs> pretty much flat and out uh you can argue about the, you can argue about the fact that there is some divergence brewing up between this point and this point um but not recently i mean yep there is certainly no divergence between this point and this point right here on the 4 hour time frame if you jump on to even smaller time frames the divergence just simply disappears guys this is a simple trend under motion right now and uh you did reject this one right here guys this is considered as a swing failure if you break above any trend this one being a rising wedge you broke above it and then you got back into the trend right here guys this is generally considered as a swing failure but but look at this price point just just strongly getting picked up making a bullish pin bar right at the support right here so that's why that's why this 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 trend is certainly currently under motion there's no need for this one to stop or break down as we have multiple support confluences on every single time frame so guys engine coin certainly looking like this one is wanting to trend even further towards the upside now could we argue about the fact that we had some bullish hidden bullish divergence between this point and this point right here on the price action now this one played out um did we formulate any hidden bullish divergence nope no bullish divergence between this point and this point let's jump on the smaller time frame and see if we had something like that uh not really 
not really. you could argue well you could argue um between this point right here and this point right here you do have some hidden bullish divergence that's why this pull through to the upside guys now there is no need to fomo on an immediate basis as you are trending below this price point right here you close some 4 hour candles um, sorry you cl you close some 4 hour candles above this point right here at $3 then you can talk about some immediate continuation to the upside now let's try to find out where our upside targets are going to be for engine coins this <laughs> this is pretty much a blue sky breakout so we can certainly draw conclusions from some fibonacci fibonacci areas of interest coming in at the covid dump uh let's just simply take this entire range of accumulation right here uh, and we are simply breaking off the 10.6764 this madness completely completely madness this this asset is going bonkers right now uh, what is your likely price point target it's going to be 20.618 to talk about these fibonacci areas at 4.2 usd guys engine uh, engine well now this is this is how your targets are derived right in front of your eyes now um, if you do take down the $3 levels there is not much stopping all the way until 4.2 and guys this you got to be really cautious now the, the thing is that the profit taking could happen at any any point of time you got to be really conservative about your capital guys as i've been talking about how to be personal about your capital not about these shit coins as they can just simply dump to the downside and you'll just lose out on all the gains you made holding this one or even trading this one so guys be extremely conservative about about your capitals as this has gone to the upside significantly significantly it's just this is an exponential move to the upside guys time to take profit all right like just maybe initial investment because if you are long on engine coins since a very very long time just for example if you longed in uh, eng right here um, it's up 10x guys it's up 10x so why not just pull out the initial investment so that you will be having some peace of mind even if it comes down back below all uh, to this price point also right here at one dollar guys um, now the downside targets are certainly far-fetched but do not underestimate the crypto space it can go up significantly it can go down significantly as well so guys be level-headed on engine as well no need to fomo until you take down this level um the three dollar levels pretty round figure pretty precise right not much to talk about right here as i think you have some clarity on enj usd guys chilies for you um chilies for you no i do not want to reload this one chilies is <laughs> is mad i mean this this chart is guys these nft charts theta chilies enj just the fucking amusing guys 25000 percent move towards the upside in one single year guys this is madness this is horrific this is horrendous to be honest <laughs> 25000 percent move to the upside guys now uh, what can we conclude from this horrendous up move that there is certainly going to be some profit taking guys there are investors who invested who seeded pretty much seeded on chilies on these price points right here do you think that why would there is absolutely no reason for these people to not take profits down on these price points right here as uh if if it starts tanking towards the downside it can come down significantly we do not have much support <coughs> uh, all the way until this price point right here um at 25 cents guys this is going to be a 50 50 percent down move if we do start trending below the 21 simple <coughs> my bad apologies for that so if you do start trending below the 21 simple on the four hour time frame as this is curling towards the downside and well the current four hour um, all right uh you could argue that this pattern right here is pretty much matured and it is finally making its move it is finally breaking towards the downside now this one rejecting this trend line right here this is just um, you could talk about the fact that this was a potential retest of the breakdown and as of now the price action stays below the 61 mark the 61 cent mark it's going to be certainly headed down towards the 200 simple on the early um, on the early schedule guys so here's your here's a conclusion right here this you see this line right here as far as you're trending below this uh this diagonal trending resistance on chilies against usdt you're going to be trending towards the downside guys you're going to be bleeding down most likely in the short time frame as well probably aligning with this or um, this diagonal trending support um at at the 200 simple on the hourly time frame guys this is a trending motion in hourly now wait for btc to trend as well if btc against breakdown if if btc goes below 55k again uh, starts trending towards 52 to 50,000 uh, USD then expect Chile to get 
chilies <laughs> to get sold off again yet again right uh, the 4r uh, 4r is certainly having a clearer picture as to what is happening right now it's rejecting anything above the 21 simple on the 4r time frame rsi guys rsi is simply losing its grounds guys i mean this is looking nasty this is not looking good as uh, ever since we broke below this now guys i do talk about these rsi grinds breakdown as these are the most significant points of strength breaking down from the market guys <laughs> just trying to make an make make an ellipse right here you, you see this point right here um, you started trending on the 23rd of feb right every single time you're coming here you're getting picked up significantly and probably these are your more than 100% moves towards the upside now when you break this when you break this that means that there is not much buying action remaining the place now this was the price point right here and you can see we have been down trending ever since we broke below this rsi price point now you could certainly come up you can certainly test this diagonal trending resistance now uh, support turn resistance at 75 uh, points on the rsi the relative strength index as the volatility keeps on expanding guys this is this is volatility expansion uh, and so it can continuously trend towards the downside because this is highly volatile trade chilies with extreme caution right extreme caution so guys i was talking about the fact that every single time you're coming here you're getting picked up for more than 100% move towards the upside the first example is here you went up for a 200% move second example is here you went up for like more than 100% more than 200% move guys and for the third time right here the final leg was a 300% move towards the upside so this was a good looking trend um, and you broke down right here right so what does that mean you got to be really cautious cuz i think that if it is trending below the 21 simple on the 4 hour time frame it can simply start curling towards the downside head all the way towards these price points now this is not a bearish video but i just want you guys to stay level headed on this one right there's no need for any exuberance there is no need for just jumping into foaming into this one because we want to move right now it's not happening guys it's not going to happen until we are trending below this diagonal trending channel right here all right um uh, if you do take this one out then we can talk about the 4r 21 simple supporting the price action towards the upside until then you can simply bleed towards the downside all the way towards these price points now guys i do not intend to make any bearish video so do not go for that dislike but hit that like go ahead and subscribe to this channel share this video as much as you can i'm going to catch you guys on the next video pretty soon bye for now